What's up guys, welcome back to another video. I know it's been a while. Um, I will give a life update at the end, just to say what's going on for those who are interested. But as you can tell by the title, today uh, we have my 2020 STI. We're gonna do an oil change, tire rotation, and maybe wash it. And I thought, why not just film it? So let's go ahead and get to work. take the under tray off and then we'll be able to change the oil. In case this is your first time taking off the under tray, there's three bolts and then there's going to be six clips and there's going to be two on each side and then one up tall inside your wheel well and then that thing will come right out. Let's see if we can not make a mess today, which is probably, we're probably going to make a mess. So actually before we take the oil filter off and stuff, I'm just going to go ahead and take the oil cap off because that will just relieve any pressure, so don't forget to do that. Third time's a charm, I forgot this was a 17 for the drain bolt. Okay, wish me luck. So I left my toolbox at the apartment, so I'm trying to use this ratchet that my dad had, but I think it's busted. So. Hopefully, we'll be able to loosen this. It doesn't seem to want to loosen. Okay, it's loose, so I'll just use this. This is gonna be hot. I think I'm gonna go get the other pan and then pour it in here. It's already dripping, okay. This is gonna be so hot. I might just have to let the bolt go in. Oh, we got it. Oh, it's not too hot, but it's still pretty hot. Okay, not too bad. We got most of it in the pan. It does look pretty dark, but like some good coffee. Okay, well, we're gonna let that drain and then I will get back with you guys when we pull off the oil filter. Okay, so this is just basically dripping at this point. I'm gonna go ahead, wipe down the area and then go ahead and put the drain bolt back in. Oh yeah, I found some gloves, so I decided to throw those on. Okay, so you want it snug, but you don't have to really tighten it with all your might. Okay, that should be good. So now we could go ahead and do the filter, which is gonna be another mess. I might go ahead and, uh, this is getting full, so I might go ahead and switch to this pan. So I do have this special little oil filter tool um, I got it on Amazon. It says Work Pro on it. Um, I'm pretty sure there's a ton of different companies you can get, but with this oil filter being in kind of a weird spot, this definitely helps loosen it. Okay, there we go. All right, so we got that started. There's no way I'd be able to get this with my hands. Okay, there we go. Okay, 
So this is the kit uh, I normally get on Amazon. It's like 70 bucks. It comes with five cords, just standard Subaru 5W30, uh, standard Subaru filter, and a crush, crush washer. Um, this is my third oil change since I got the car, and I've always used this, so I'm just going to keep using it uh, just because. And like I said, I got this on Amazon. I think they were running low, but I'll go ahead and link this in the description in case you were, you were wondering. Honestly, it, it comes with a so it comes with the five quarts, um, the oil filter and the crush washer. I honestly have never used these. Um, I've never had any issues. That could be controversial, but honestly, I'm just gonna keep doing what I've been doing. And let's go ahead. We're gonna put the oil filter on, and then we can go ahead and put the new oil in. Okay, so we can go ahead and wipe up. Oh shoot! We can go ahead and clean up this surface a little bit. Okay, so before you put the filter on, um, I'm sure a lot of you know this, but I just take a little bit of the old oil on your finger and just rub it on the seal um, just to make sure, or on this gasket, just to make sure that there's a good seal. Um, so yeah, just don't forget to do that. So we'll go ahead and screw this back in. And again on this, like the bolt, uh, you, want it, you want it tight and snug. You don't want it over tight, but just like a good hand tight should be more than enough. If you want, you can even finish it off with the tool. Just give it a nice little turn. So we got the bolt tight. We got the filter tight. Let's go ahead and pour in the new oil. Of course, the kit came with five quarts. We're going to do four and a half quarts. Check the level. It should be good. Um, and then you'll have like a half a quart just in case you need it down the road. And then normally right after I change the oil, I will take the container up to AutoZone and they'll recycle it for you. Just so you don't have to collect oil at your house. Might as well go ahead and get rid of it. This is the end of August. Um, of course, in Texas, it's freaking hot. So hopefully, come September, it'll start to cool down. Because if you are from Texas, I know you are probably over this heat right now. So this is the fourth quart. We'll put in a half, and then check the level. Okay, so I just did a quick uh, check. It looks like the oil is good. I'm gonna go ahead and start it and make sure we don't have any leaks. All right, everything looks good. So we uh, lowered it back on the ground so I could break all the lug nuts loose. I'm gonna go ahead and just put rotate the tires. I'm just gonna put the fronts to the back and the back to the front, and then I will update you guys when I'm done. and I already checked the oil level is perfect um, I did want to show you guys I finally got my own torque wrench so I did get this on Amazon I don't remember how much it was but I'll link it below it's been working awesome for me um, so finally I got my own I didn't have to borrow Lauren's family's anymore so I don't think I'm gonna wash today um, I forgot how long filming took and it is so hot so after filming the oil change and tire rotation um, I am worn out so I'm gonna wash another day um, I still have to run to AutoZone to take the old oil and then I think I'm gonna pick up some lunch for me and Lauren I'll probably show you guys a quick little video of the apartment and I also want to show you guys our golden retriever Kiwi uh, she is a sweetheart so I will go pick up some I think we're gonna do some Slotsky sandwiches um, so I'm gonna pick that up and then I will catch you guys at the apartment 
for the outro. It is Kiwi, everyone. She doesn't know about the camera, but she's about eight months old. This is our little baby. This is our apartment. Lauren's not feeling good, so she's not going to be on camera. But yeah, I just wanted to end it here. Uh, I'll let y'all know. We did finally get a place. Uh, we actually got married, what, like a week ago? Yeah. A couple weeks a week ago. And a day ago. A week and a day ago. So we're married. We got a place. We got a dog. And we're still going to have a ceremony in October. But yeah, it's a little life update. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.